The Pixel 4 smartphones can pack in Google's latest Android 10 OS, which adds loads of great fresh features such as that sexy looking dark mode and some slick new gesture controls. But Google's latest flagships also boast some very unique and exclusive bits that you won't find on other Android devices or even any other Pixel smartphones. So here's a full tips and tricks guide to take a closer look at some of those new Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL features and of course just some of the best bits in there to really get you started with your new Pixel smartphone as well. And for more on the latest greatest mobile tech, please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now both of the new Pixel smartphones boast a gorgeous OLED display and you can fully customise it and check out some of the new features as well by diving into the settings menu and then heading to display. So for instance in here you'll notice that the dark theme is turned on by default here on the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL. If you'd rather switch to a more standard light theme all you need to do is just tick that off and as you see everything will return back to how it used to be. And of course that will also change up the appearance of apps like the Google Play Store. So for instance turn off that dark theme and then if we go back into the Play Store that will all change as well. If you dive into the styles and wallpaper section you can play with all kinds of default themes and you can even create your own theme as well choosing from all kinds of different fonts selected from a number of different icons you can actually choose the color of those icons and lastly play around with different shapes for the icons as well and when you're done just name your theme and then it will be applied to the pixel it's pretty simplistic customization compared with a lot of android launchers that you can stick on there of course but it does just help you to change up the general look and feel in a jiffy now in that display settings menu if you tap the advanced down at the bottom you open up a whole bunch of extra options one of those options is the fresh new ambient eq feature what this does is it automatically adjusts like so the color temperature on your display to match the ambient environment so for instance in a low light environment if you're reading a bit of twitters at 3am in the morning first of all don't do that it's bad for your mental health second of all it'll just help to produce a nice warm output so it'll be easy on the eye means less eye strain so we definitely recommend keeping that one active and that bonus extra bit you'll also notice the smooth display option as well and that's because the pixel 4 and the pixel 4 xl both support up to 90 hertz refresh rates on that gorgeous oled display doesn't stick to 90 hertz all of the time though sticks to 60 hertz the default setting whenever possible only bump it up to that 19 whenever you're actually interacting with the device playing a supported game something like that however the pixel 4 and the pixel 4 xl don't have the greatest battery life of all time so if you'd rather preserve the battery life rather than having that 90 hertz refresh rate support then just knock that off and lastly while we're in this display section just head to the lock screen display down at the bottom and you'll find some really useful stuff in there too because you've got some classic pixel features in there like the now plane which can detect any music that is in your immediate environment and basically flash up the artist and the song track right there on the lock screen. Very handy if you're constantly thinking, oh Christ, what's this tune again? But one of the best features in here is the always on display. And just like the always on display on other smartphones, this can constantly show you the time, the date, the weather, all kinds of important information and more importantly, whether you've got any wait and notifications, you know, whether to bother actually unlocking the phone and taking a squint. However, as I mentioned before, the Pixel 4 smartphones don't have the best battery life and so you might want to knock that always on display off in order to preserve a bit of juice and instead use some of the other options. So the top option is reach to check phone. All you need to do is gesticulate at your Pixel smartphone and as you see there the lock screen will pop right up. This is one of the motion sense gestures and it uses one of the more unique new features packed into the Pixel 4, that built-in radar. And this makes for more accurate gesture recognition compared with some rivals as it doesn't rely on the front facing selfie camera. To play around with these motion sense gestures what you need to do is just dive into the Pixel 4 settings menu, scroll to the very bottom, hit system and then you'll find them in that motion sense section. You can either activate or deactivate motion sense from within this menu and also check out the various features. So for instance, you can skip songs in the likes of Spotify, Amazon Music Unlimited, stuff like that. And that's particularly handy if, for instance, you're cooking, your hands are covered in grease and cack and you don't want to get it all over your lovely Pixel 4 display. And rather dangerously, you can also use these motion gestures to snooze any alarms. Just remember to actually get up for work at some point. Now, as I mentioned before, the Pixel 4 smartphone smartphones can detect when you're reaching for them and then automatically activate that lock screen to show you what is up but it can also be used to automatically activate that face recognition which means basically as soon as you pick up the handset your face is recognized and you're straight into those desktops no need to hit the power button or anything now you can set up the face recognition by jumping into the pixel 4 settings menu and then going to security and then hitting face unlock 
In here you can set up your face data, you can delete it and rescan if for whatever reason you're having troubles with it. And you've also got a selection of other features you can play around with. One of the features I personally recommend is skip lock screen. That basically means that as soon as your face is recognized, it'll jump straight into your desktop. You don't have to mess around swiping the screen or anything like that. I personally found that Pixel 4, a face unlock feature works really, really well. Even when you're wearing shades in low light environments, things like that, it will still recognize you. But unfortunately, that also means that it will recognize you even if your eyes are closed. So some unscrupulous person can take your phone, hold it over your mug as you're having a little kip, and then it'll unlock your handset and give them full access to all of your privates. Here in Android 10 on the Pixel 4 smartphone, there have also been some changes to the gestures and general navigation. If you head into the system settings and then go to gestures, you can have a play around with these. So for instance, you can bring up the Google Assistant in a couple of different ways, either by squeezing those active edge sensors, or alternatively, you can just swipe up from a bottom corner and that'll do exactly the same. And the Pixel 4 also uses the new Android 10 means of navigating via gestures as well. It works really, really well. You can just swipe up towards the center of the screen to go back to your home screen, swipe up and hold in order to access all of your recent apps. And when you're in an app, you can quickly go back just with a quick swipe from the edge like so. But if you're not a fan, just dive into that gestures menu, go to system navigation, and then you can return to the three button navigation traditional system found in previous versions of Android. Now back in the main settings menu, if you hit the sound option, you'll find one of the Pixel 4's other unique and very cool new features, and that is the live caption feature. This does exactly what you'd expect, adding live captions to any kind of media that you're watching, being it on Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube, etc., etc. It'll even add captions to the likes of Skype calls as well, which is great news if you're in a noisy environment or you're not particularly good of hearing. I found that on the whole, it works really, really nicely. You can actually change up the text on the fly based on the context once it figures it out. It does occasionally struggle a little bit when it's a noisy environment or if you've got two people speaking at once, but on the whole, very impressive. Once you've activated the feature, you can actually quickly activate it or deactivate it just by hitting a volume button and just tapping this little icon which pops up here as you see, gets rid of it in a jiffy, tap it again and it'll pop back into life. You can actually get rid of it as well just by simply swiping it down like so. And so far the live captioning only works for English but other languages should be supported soon. And if you can't get enough of voice into text transcription as well, try jumping into the new recorder app here on the Pixel 4. Absolutely everything that you choose to record, be it a lecture or your best friend's drunken confessions, won't just be recorded to an audio file, they will also be fully transcribed into text view as well, which is really helpful if you're trying to search for something later on. As you can see there, it's not 100% accurate all of the time, and it can't differentiate between different people speaking as well. You'll just get one large mass of text all sort of garbled together, but it's definitely a good start. So that right there is just a taster of some of the cool stuff that you can do with the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL and some of those unique new features stuffed inside. But there's plenty more to discover if you dive on into the Pixel 4 settings and have a bit of a play around. For instance, did you know when the Pixel 4 is docked on the Pixel Qi wireless charging pad, you can turn it into a digital photo frame, a sunrise alarm clock, all kinds of stuff. I'll stop banging on now though, otherwise this video will probably be about half an hour long, but definitely throw some of your own favorite Pixel 4 tips and tricks in the comments down below. Let us know why you're excited about this device and have yourselves a lovely week, people. Oh, and please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech. Don't want to forget that.